Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another podcast for Northeast Alabama weather. I am your weather enthusiast, David Marks, and I want to thank those of you who are following us online on Facebook. And I want to remind you that today's podcast is brought to you by More Than Conquerors Media, web design, podcast production, and business consultation. You can check them out online at morethanconquerors.com for more information. Okay, as we jump into this week's podcast, I want to give a disclaimer. All of these numbers can change and everything can be different, but I wanted to give everyone an update early on Sunday instead of Monday so that we can see exactly what we're looking forward to in the Northeast Alabama area for this next week. This will differ if you're in Jackson County than if you're in DeKalb County or Marshall County. Parts of DeKalb County may be impacted more than other parts of DeKalb County. So there have been a lot of things put out online, a lot of seen a range of between no snow to five to six inches of snow for DeKalb County and even more for Jackson County. So right now, just know the numbers are all over the place and we're going to try to do our best off what data we have to give you an idea of what we may be looking at. Starting with Monday, so this is Sunday night into Monday morning, a high temperature of 38 degrees, low temperature of 20. It's going to be overcast all day long that I'm seeing right now. Wind speeds are going to remain fairly calm at 6 miles per hour, and our lowest wind chill factor temperature is 25 degrees. Here's the big thing everyone wants to know. Are we going to get snow? Well, Jackson County has a stronger chance the more west you go, like Huntsville and northwest Alabama, there's a very strong chance they will. In DeKalb County, for the morning, there's about a 56% chance of precipitation. That is about a half an inch of rain that it's showing us for all day, and that increases to 67% chance, by the way, for the afternoon. And that would be about one to one and a half inches of snow. So here's what I would say. The further north you are in DeKalb County, the greater the chance of having snow in your area. The further south you are, the chance diminishes, but it doesn't mean it's ruled out. So those on Lookout Mountain and Sand Mountain both, I would anticipate that you will see some snow. I would say that you could see possibly up to one and a half inches, maybe more, maybe less, depending on where you're at. Jackson County, however, will... If the snow comes in like we think it's going to, they're going to see two or more inches of snow. Now, again, I've seen predictions up to four and five inches of snow. This is really hard to call because it is so iffy with the temperature. It really depends on if the snow comes in early in the morning and it doesn't get quite as warm. We, of course, will see more snow through the day. If the temperatures do not hold down and the temperatures rise and get to a higher state, then yes, it would be rain or maybe freezing rain mixed with snow. Either way, I think we're going to have a mess in northeast Alabama for a couple of days, and here's why. If we get any amount of precipitation, whether it be freezing rain or we get a little bit of snow, say even over a dusting to half an inch, that is going to have very cold air coming behind it. So let's look at Tuesday, and here's why it's important. All of that moisture that falls, now the roads are fairly warm, the ground's fairly warm because we've had a couple of warm days on Saturday and Sunday. So the ground's not going to be freezing temperatures for it to just settle, but air temperatures will get very cold very quickly. The high temperature for Tuesday is 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Low temperature, 14 degrees. It will be overcast and wind speeds at maximum will be about 14 miles an hour. The precipitation probability is very low. So we do not expect to see any more snow or sleet fall after midnight of Monday. But those temperatures being very cold, it's going to cause everything that has fallen to freeze. So there is no chance of much of it melting away on Tuesday if we do have significant snowfall for DeKalb and Jackson County. This continues on into Wednesday as the high temperature is 33 degrees and that's right at freezing. We may sit a little lower, may sit a little higher. It's going to be clear. So it's going to help melt what has fallen. However, That night, it is going to be from Tuesday night to Wednesday, it's going to be very, very cold. Low temperature of 8 degrees. Now, the low wind chill temperature right now is negative 5 at 5 a.m. on Wednesday morning. So Tuesday night going into Wednesday, very cold temperatures. Make sure you have everything covered up, your plants inside, everything's well insulated. Throughout the day, it's going to be clear. Winds are still going to remain at a maximum of about 13 miles an hour at 2 a.m. So the winds will gradually start to calm down as the day goes on. Again, very low probability of precipitation throughout the day at the maximum being 20%. So we do not anticipate anything to fall. It's going to be a very clear day as the day moves through on Wednesday. It's very cold that morning. Very cold. Thursday, January 18th, 
High temperature of 44, low temperature of 18 degrees. The low wind chill temperature is about 10 degrees Fahrenheit at 2 a.m. It's going to be partly cloudy in the morning to cloudy by the afternoon. Wind speeds will pick up about 10 p.m. So the maximum wind speed we see is about 11 miles an hour by the afternoon late night. Precipitation probability is about 55% chance for the morning and 78% chance for the afternoon. There's a range here showing anywhere from a tenth of an inch of rain to three quarters of an inch of rain for the whole day. But again, it's going to be 44 degrees. Friday, we cool off again as that system moves through. Low temperature of 19 and high temperature of 36. Cloud cover, it will be cloudy early, then it will be partly cloudy by the afternoon. Wind speeds will really pick up throughout Friday. By 5 p.m. in the afternoon, we anticipate to see wind speeds around 18 miles an hour. So it's going to be very gusty, very breezy. But rain chances and precipitation chance, very low. Again, it's going to be a very cool day. There is a possibility early Friday morning that we could see a dusting of snow. And that is just because it will be the leftover moisture from Thursday into Friday. And the temperatures will remain still cool and below freezing. So don't be surprised if we don't see another dusting of snow on Friday morning. Saturday, January 20th. Again, that moisture has moved through our area. Cold air behind it. High temperature, 29 degrees. Low temperature of 12. It's going to be very clear. The wind speeds, though, are going to be very strong early in the morning. So a max speed right now of about 60 miles an hour at 1 a.m. Very low precipitation probability for the day. However, it's going to be very, very cool. So cool day for Saturday coming up on the 20th. Again, maximum temperature right now is still below freezing. And Sunday, January 21st, high temperature of 42 degrees, low temperature of 18 degrees. Clear day, wind speeds around 10 miles an hour at the maximum, and as of right now, no sign of precipitation expected. I want to thank you for listening to the podcast. I hope this gave you good information. Again, numbers change, and these numbers could all change. I do anticipate that we will see some snow on Monday, and this is just maybe more what I hope to see, I guess, but we could see some snow. Just be aware of any travel plans you may have for Monday. Be sure that you follow your local school systems on Facebook or any other social media platform they may use for Tuesday and Wednesday. At the least, I expect us to have delays. At the most, especially for Wednesday, we may see a later delay than Tuesday, depending on what happens Monday, because it is going to be rigidly cold. So make sure you have your dogs and kids inside. Check more information out at nailweather.com, where you can listen to past podcasts and subscribe to the podcast. And again, we want to thank More Than Conquerors Media for sponsoring this podcast today. Everyone stay safe. Hope you get to enjoy the snow if we have it, and we'll see you next time.